Hello and welcome to the simple uh, tutorial about how you can long-term save data um, on your DBM bot without using a MySQL database um, or using the built-in data storage tools. Because um, some people don't um, like them or they don't uh, trust them fully or they don't think they work or they just don't work for your use case, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way on how you can effectively uh, and efficiently store data um, long term uh, using DBM. So um, let's get started. Um, and this is only going to be a very simple use case scenario. You can adapt this to a multitude of applications. Um, so for example, uh, we just want to store something. Um, and we want to store anything that we um, have put as the parameter. So we're going to um, store the command parameter, we're going to put multiple parameters, and we're going to call the variable param. All right, so at this point we have whatever is written after the store command. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to use the file control um, action. This uh, action is very, very useful, very, very versatile, um, because it allows you obviously to control files, and that is the main way uh, of storing data. So, um, for ex we only want to store a very short bit of um, information, in this case, the parameter. So, uh, we can use the format text, we can uh, use the task create, and then we want to create the file name. And the file name is very important because that is how you're going to call on the information. So when you want, when you are um, defining what your file name is going to be, you want to think about how or um, where you want to uh, call this information again. Um, so for example, we want to store whatever this user has put after the store command. So um, when we want to call it back, we will most likely have the user ID. So as the final, we're going to put um, uh, message.author.id. That is going to um, append the author ID. So if we execute this command, it's going to be our ID. Uh, the file path is um, also important because if you cram everything into one folder, or if you cram everything into the main bot folder, it's going to be very messy, and messiness is not efficient. So um, the file path, how you uh, define that is you uh, put period and slash. Um, the period and slash is the um, your bot folder, where the bot is stored. And then afterwards, you can write any folder you want. It doesn't have to be a folder that already exists. It could be whatever name imaginable because if the folder doesn't exist and the uh, and the bot is told to make a file it'll just create the folder as well so in this case we want to let's say uh, parameters and then put another slash uh, and create the action now in now you've created a file but there's nothing in it yet um, and in most to be on the safe side um, what I usually do, and this can be entirely up to you, but I've noticed that if you put two file control actions right after each other, um, sometimes the second file ac file control action is either skipped or something weird happens with it. So what the best thing is to do is to add a little bit of wait time. Let's To be on the safe side, let's say 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. Uh, then we can clone this action, drag it below that, um, and we can change the task to write, stay, leave all of this alone, uh, and then insert our param um, variable. All right, uh, and then we can just add a confirmation message. Yeah. All right, then let's fire up our bot. All right, so uh, now we've uh, started our bot and this is um, our bot folder. And then now let's do the store command. Um, obviously, it shouldn't um, do anything like that. And then let's say um, parameters like that. And there we go. Parameters have has been saved. Uh, now, if we go into our bot folder here, uh, you can see a new folder has appeared called parameters. If you open that, you can see this is my user ID. If you click that, it logged it. Perfect. Um, 
And that is the very simple way of how to store information. Now, if you want to retrieve information, um, that is very simple. So let's call let's call it um, call. Uh, let's store another parameter. Uh, and this time it'll only be one parameter because now our parameter is going to be the user ID. Uh, and then what you'll want to do is use the check uh, if file exists. Um, now what this will do, you will, you would be inclined um, to use the read file function uh, and then store the data to a parameter and then um, use a check variable to check if it exists um, to emulate what this action um, does anyway. Um, but that throws a lot of unnecessary errors into the logs. Um, so this is a much cleaner way to do it. Just put in your path, which is parameters, uh, and then your temp variable. Don't forget the um, ex file extension. Uh, if true, skip actions. If false, continue. And now what we want to do is we want to read a file. Again, we're going to put in the path. And the uh, temp variable, again, don't forget your file extension, and save it into, I don't know, file. So, uh, so we can restart our bot. Uh, go back in here, and then we can say call, and then let's test out our uh, check mark. There we go, none found. Call, and then my user ID. There we go, parameters found under this user ID. So there are pros and cons to every single uh, way you can store data using DBM. Um, I, for my use cases, I, I like to use this method. It's very simple. It's very easy. Um, it you can get used to uh, making those file actions uh, very easy. Um, you can play around with this however you want. Um, I will uh, put the commands um, file in the description if you want to just plug this. Uh, these commands into your uh, bot uh, and play around with them. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment. I'll reply uh, as soon as I can and um, we'll see you in the next one.